Okay, so forget downward dog and cow to cat. When you think of yoga, you think of llamas, mm. right? No, nope. I do. No, I you guess. probably don't. Well, that's right. A pasture in Probably Waconia well. is now hosting <laughs> llama yoga. Check it out. Why not? <laughs> um, they are wonderful animals. Ready? We're going to inhale, lift and reach all the way up to the top, palms together. Well, they're just sweet tempered and they just love affection and it's something you got to experience to know what I'm talking about. You have the benefit of yoga where it's relaxing and calming and stretching and then when you add the animal part in, that also adds in even more calming. Um, as you know, like even petting an animal relaxes you, brings that heart rate down. And we have wonderful helpers, 4-H kids and 4-H parents that come out and help. The yoga is secondary because we want to be in the present moment. So teaching you to experience this right now and that may mean stopping yoga and hanging out with the guys behind me. Stay. Oh, Mama stay. Stay. Mama stay. Get it? Yeah, that's clever. Now the class was supposed to be a one-time thing, but because of the popularity, and you could see it there, how many people yeah. showed up, they're going to have it more Happen again. More. So, here's my concern fat. with llama yoga: the smell, all this deep breathing, and then yeah. you're breathing in animal you're smells. Be I don't calm know. Calm and collected when you're doing yoga. I feel like I'd be freaking out the whole time. Then they're yeah. going to get trampled. Where, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's getting to be to the point now where they just try it with every animal. That's animal right. Right. Go yoga, goats, llamas, cats. Yeah. All right. Who knows what's next? Elephants, maybe. <laughs>